Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Last week we made and shot the world's first liquid metal filled bullets. We shot it into a fish tank and compared it to a normal lead bullet. And you could see that the soft sodium bullet expanded much more violently and rapidly than a lead bullet. So today we're gonna try more tests by shooting them at watermelons, cans of starting fluid, and other things that explode. Let's get started. First up is the watermelon tests, and it's not exactly a scientific approach, but it's a pretty common benchmark used by other YouTube channels. Now it's the sodium bullet. Huh. Three, two, one. That bullet had some punch. I'd say it was a pretty good reaction. An interesting thing about sodium is that it's reactive with water, but not so reactive, so you'll find little bits of it laying around afterwards. One. Yeah, over there, look. Oh, <laughs> got the table on fire. Really? Now we're doing potassium, the second most reactive metal we have. Three, two, one. Now that was pretty amazing. I just glanced the watermelon at the very tip and it was still enough to just completely shatter it from the top down and blow it all across the picnic table. Now for the big one. Now it's time for the sodium potassium alloy bullet. Let's see what it does to a watermelon. Let's do this. Three, two, one. It is super effective. And a cool side effect is these bullets are so reactive with the air that they instantly catch on fire as soon as I leave the gun barrel, making for a pretty impressive homemade tracer thing. And yeah, it vaporized that watermelon. Three. Two, one. It's so moist. It's so moist. I'm covered in it. And of course, for a comparison, we need to shoot a watermelon with a regular lead bullet. So this is a hollow point that I shot at a watermelon and I'd say the results were impressive, but definitely less spectacular than the sodium potassium bullets. But don't take my word for it. Here's all the clips one more time for you to watch them again yourself. That sodium potassium alloy liquid bullet is super cool with the tracer. And once I saw the high speed and we figured this out, I had to try something else. So before we move on to our next test, let's see if this can blow up a can of starting fluid. I've got a can of starting fluid up there and I've got liquid metal bullets in here. So hopefully it'll catch on fire in the air, hit those, they'll explode, big fireball. Awesome. Three. Two, one. That's cool. That's yeah. You can see the spin stabilizing the bullet as it flies towards the starting fluid, and as soon as it hits it, that sodium ignites in the air and ignites the super flammable diethyl ether in the starting fluid, and it takes off like a rocket across the yard. Oh, that was fun. So those soft watermelons didn't stand a chance against these liquid metal bullets, but let's see how they stack up against a hard target, like a cinder block. Let's, let's get started. First up is the sodium filled bullet. One. Next up is the potassium bullet. One. Ah, there you go. I don't know if you can see this, but there is not much damage from the potassium bullet or the sodium bullet. These just don't have any penetrating power. All right, now for my personal favorite, the sodium potassium alloy filled bullet. And there's that little hot melt glue on the tip. One. That one's cool. Yeah. And now for a plain old lead bullet. <laughs> That's way more powerful. Well, even though these bullets look super cool, they're really not that effective. I mean, the lead bullet just really cracked the cinder block and everything else didn't stand a chance. All right, I think we can come to the conclusion that these bullets are super effective against soft targets because they're made out of a soft metal that instantly deforms and expends all of its energy at once. But that same property makes them totally ineffective against any kind of hard target at all. These bullets have hardly any kinetic energy behind them at all. They're very light and they're not moving very fast. Can't even eject their own. So all in all, these bullets are super cool, but they're just, that's it. They're just a curiosity. Um, um. And again, thanks to Nathan at aimedresearch.com. Check the link down below in the description. Without this high-speed camera rental, 
this video wouldn't have been possible, so pay some respects to Nathan. Visit his website because he's giving away a Kindle Fire, so check that out. The link is on his website somewhere. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right, guys, after you check out Nathan's website, I put a poll down in the description. So I'm thinking about creating some kind of t-shirts or Hawaiian t-shirts or Hawaiian hoodies kind of things. I don't know. But leave your ideas down at the poll and tell me what you think if you want to get any kind of backyard scientist stuff. are super effective against soft targets because they're made out of a... They're made out of a uh, without... Um, again, I'd like to thank Nathan at High... Sp and again... Bird. Sodium metal is much er softer -er than lead. Oh, look at the woodpecker. Welcome to the Backyard Scientist Nature Show. Today we're looking at the, um, the red-headed woodpecker. You saw this clip earlier in the video, but I cropped out what I was shooting at. I was actually shooting at a jug, but I missed. Just by such a small amount, the bullet actually bounced off the plastic jug. It's pretty once-in-a-lifetime shot. What? Dude, I hit it right there. <laughs> I hit it right there. <laughs> and it bounced off. <laughs> There's also some hidden footage I didn't include in the main video. Like, here we go. This is a calcium bullet striking a water balloon. And I also repeated the whole series of tests again on a gallons of water. So first we have lead, sodium, potassium, and then the alloy. So I'll just leave. Nothing, but there is some fires. All right, so show us the water jug. All right, so it's halfway sticking out here. We killed one Dixie there. On the inside. The bullet didn't make it through all the way. It got stuck in the back. But look at the and legs you it on sticking the out. The legs are sticking out. So you hit it like this. You didn't even go through really the whole way. I imagine that might hurt a little bit. It's still missing out there. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. I need a minute. No, I'm good. No, hold on, my eyes are watering. <laughs>